I apologize to all the other Christians here. Why? This man has made mockumentaries against Islam. He's attacked Muslims, aggravated Muslims. We know his story. He's not any regular Christian, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, good evening. I'd like to thank uh, Muhammad Hijab for challenging me to this debate. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to Smart to Jannah. Smart to Jannah. <laughs> Muhammad Hijab and David Wood. The debate finally happened. It was an awesome. Nah. It was a really cool. Nah. Help me out, Dave. Tonight will be what uh, what young people call epic. Let's see. Now those people who are well acquainted with the field of dawah know David Wood's name. Come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. He's been outspoken against Islam for a very long time. He's a very shameless individual. He got bullied to death by Muhammad Hijab, mate. If you like to attack the Quran, you will see today that the Quranic argument will suffocate you. It will suffocate you. I'm sure we got a good snap of the back of Muhammad Hijab's head though. You have complained that Mr. Wood have mocked Muslims. Yeah. And you have been mocking him all night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now, he, now just because your boy was smashed, to use Khabib's words, it doesn't mean now that you, you're gonna give me a. Uh, uh, can yes. please settle? He got destroyed, he got obliterated, he got exterminated. And I've, I'm pretty much done, I can't believe it. <laughs> Should I give it as a charity to him? I'll give it as a charity to you. Have a minute and a half charity for a Muslim to you. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I take, I take all the charity. All right, well. Come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. He got vaccinated. He got antibacterial soaped. Don't tell me about Arabic language. You ask me about Arabic language in this in this forum. You ask me, you don't tell me, you ask me. In other words, mate, he got Masha. He treated. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Hey, do you lift yet, bro? Do you lift? Because <laughs> a vision softly creeping. Don't embarrass yourself in front of me. Muhammad Hijab, absolute legend. Um, they yeah, wouldn't have to yeah, do yeah, with that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, um, as for as for, for yeah, Justin Martyr, yeah, now Justin, yeah, everyone yeah. acknowledges that Justin Martyr makes a bad comparison, but he's actually appealing to yeah. the leaders. He turned up with notes written on his hand. First, one minute left. Yes, forty-eight. Making wrestling impersonations. To take a word from Dwayne the J the Rock Johnson. It doesn't matter what you think. Teaching him Arabic during the debate. I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. And still having time left over at the end. Anyways, I've got a few minutes left. Let me recite some Quran because I've done with this guy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. Snoop Dogg. The debate was an absolute pleasure to watch and I would recommend you guys to also have a look as well. Not only did David Wood get roasted, he got roasted with a side of salad and some sweet potato fries. Mm. Come on please don't embarrass yourself. Our friend Dave was struggling so much for replies that he had to use arguments that even he knew were wrong. And so the question is why wouldn't why would Jesus say that he doesn't know the hour? Well there's there's a long explanation. Um, which I'm not even sure is correct, uh, but usually we would we would explain this in terms of <laughs> giving the easier one here. Ah, da, da, hey, you're interfering with my time here. Dave's arguments were weak, vague, and very desperate. To be fair, you know one one important lesson that we can take away from this is when these people are asked to stick to the point and the topic, even the staunchest, outspoken adversaries of Islam crumble when faced with facts about this beautiful religion. Don't let the media and the misinformation that's there affect your faith because our religion, it's a way of life. It's not one religion amongst other religions, it is the religion and that's why it's constantly on the forefront of people's minds. 
because it's the only threat to people. It is a danger for the banking system, for big pharmaceuticals and the weapons industry. We're big issues. One more time. One more time. Thank you. One more time. One more time. <laughs> okay, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this debate. Don't forget to share it as well because in this day and age where misinformation is rife, of course hearing stuff like this can raise a person's Iman because they see unadulterated Islam in its best form. Until next time, Salamu Alaikum. I have one question for you. It has three co-equal parts, but I assure you that it's just one question. Try to keep it to one. We're trying to get as much as we can. Three, three is one.